Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk about how not to get shot. Now, this may seem like an obvious thing, but the difficult thing about PUBG is that because it can take so long to get looted up and then make your way through the circles and you don't have that many firefights unless you drop hot, and even if you do have a hot drop, you'll then have a quiet period that it's easy to get a little bit lax and uh, forget some really important routines, some drills and some disciplines that will help to keep you alive to get you into that top 10 situation where then you can use your circle knowledge, your gun skills, uh, your cunning to get that get that trick into there. And these are sort of um, habits that if you get yourself into, you'll just do them automatically all the time and they will save your life. And you could boil everything down to, to this kind of thing. The next time you're scoped in on somebody with a four times and eight times a six times or even a red dot or a hollow or even iron sights and you're looking at them think about what you want them to do all right and normally if they're sort of jumping around and running around and crouching and getting up and crouching and getting up and running around again you're kind of saying to yourself come on just stand still because you're waiting for them to be still before you squeeze on that trigger and you take the shot, especially if you're running something like a car 98 or an M24 or an AWM, you know, the bolt action snipers where you're going for a headshot because it's an instant uh, kill or an instant down. You go, just stay still, just stay still, just stay still. And you're pausing and pausing and pausing. And all that time, you know, you're pausing. You know, somebody else could have crept around a corner 50 meters away, have spotted you, and they could be doing the same to you and going, oh, great, that guy's not moving. And as soon as they stop moving, you can then take the shot. So always remember that. Always imagine that somebody is scoped in on you and they're waiting for you to stop moving so they can then squeeze that trigger and take you out. So the, so the main thing is jiggle, you know? When, you, when you're moving around the map, just jiggle left and right. You know, crouch, get up. Um, don't run in a straight line go from left to right, right to left. I remember what I said about the M24, the Car 98, the AWM, all these bolt action snipers. If you haven't got a level 3 helmet on and somebody blats you in the head, you're dead. That's it. In solos, you're gone. There's no second chance. You know, you, it's just a one shot kill and obviously in duos and squads, you, you know, you're downed and then your teammates have got to come come and rescue you. So you're always trying to avoid that, that headshot. Um... <laughs> Move like you've got ants in your pants. That's the main thing. Just keep running around. Never stay still. Now, there may well be situations where you want to go stealthy. You know, maybe you're hanging around on the edge of a circle, you know, waiting for the next circle to appear to make your move. And let's say, you know, you've come in late to the circle and you know there's nobody behind you. And you're like, well, I don't, I want to go stealthy. You know, I don't want to be jiggling around. And in that case, things to look out for, um, bushes, especially on Sandhawk, bushes can be good. You crouch down in a bush and stay still. You know, don't move, don't change weapons. Hang on to that top right shoulder button and, and look around using that. Um, and that can be good. If you are determined to lie down, and lying down is one of the worst things you can do in PUBG, make sure you tuck yourself right into the side of a rock, you know? And always bear in mind that although you might think, say in Erringel, you might think you're in some long grass, and you go, oh, this is good, I can't see myself, I can't see out of this grass when I lie down on it. The draw distance that the console has, I think it's about 200 meters. So you might be on the side of a hill, thinking, ooh, I'm in this nice deep grass. This is brilliant. Nobody can see me. There's somebody 250 metres away who is looking at you going, what's that? What, why is that guy lying down on that side of the hill and complete, um, exposing themselves completely to everybody else as they line you up for a headshot? So, you know, avoid that. Always think about hard cover. And hard cover is, is rocks, um, trees to a certain extent, and bushes to a certain extent as well never ever lie down though if you come under fire and as soon as you come under fire if you are lying down the first thing you should do is try and get up because trust me i've killed many 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 people where you're shooting at them and then they decide to lie down because they think that will get them behind cover and they're not behind cover and then you they're, then they're an easier target because they can't move around faster whereas if somebody shoots you 
and you start jumping around and jiggling and generally acting like a mad person it's very hard to hit them again especially if you're at distance it's really really difficult again many many times especially when i've been running for circles and then all of a sudden you come under fire oh no you just keep jumping jumping and while they're firing at you just be trying to figure out where they are so that when you get behind cover when you healed up you can then return fire in in that in that direction in the final circles as well um, it all depends on the tactical situation, whether you decide to stay on your feet or or crawl in, you know, whether you've got hard cover like rocks, like I'm talking to you, or like, you know, a, a firm change in the in the landscape. Um, what I would always tend to recommend is bob and weave left and right, up and down, all that sort of stuff until you can get to your hard cover. Now, sometimes there won't be any hard cover and you won't know where the enemies are and your only option really is then to crawl in because if you're just crouching as you're coming in, somebody will see you. You know, whereas if it's... Lots of time this can happen on Erangel and Miramar where you'll have a like a flat uh, open area with some covering corners where the enemies probably are and, you know, you've got to follow the circle in. And your only option really then is to go on, you know, is to is to is to is to crawl in slowly and keep scanning and hope nobody hope nobody sees you. But as soon as the action starts, you know, you've got to get up. You know, when you when you're starting to move into the, that last two that last three last two people, you need to be on your feet if you if you don't know where the enemies are because you need to be ready to respond um to where they are to, to kind of return fire and where where to kill them so keep bobbing keep weaving and always remember use the third person's perspective to peek corners you know you do with third person perspective you don't need to move out behind a rock to look around it you just get near the edge you know and then you can lock the camera you will lock your position with the right shoulder button and then look around with the uh, with the joystick if you're in a gunfight with somebody you know, and you're behind a rock or behind a tree in there as well. Just remember, as you're peeking out, clicking down on the right stick or the left stick, as you as you peek out, don't peek the same side twice. You know, peek one side, bang. Peek the other side, bang. Wait a second or two. Peek the right side, bang. Peek the left side, bang. <laughs> you know, try and not be predictive. You can peek the same side, say same side twice if you leave a bit of a gap. You know, you've got to give them a chance to move their aim to the other side or the middle of the tree. Um, or take a few steps backwards to give yourself a little bit more of an angle. If you need to med up as well, remember that while you are medding, while you are drinking energy drinks, while you are taking painkillers, you can jiggle and you can move, you can crouch, you can stand. If you move around too much it will cancel the action, but you can definitely go up and down and that would save you. I mean the best thing to do is, if you need to med up, be in the building or be in cover. Same as if you're swapping gear around with yourself or with your teammates. Get in cover, get inside a building away from windows and do it all there so that you can do it in, in, in safety. If you need to do any late game looting, this is very, very dangerous. I don't always mean, don't do it. Think long and hard before you do late game looting. Make sure you go in and you maybe use something like a smoke to cover the loot before you go in because that time especially on consoles where looting takes a little bit longer than it does on PC you're going to be very exposed to anybody at all when you're going through doors as well when you when you come up to a building what you want to do is run up to the building like at an angle and run past the door and open it as you go past then loop back and then go through the door so you don't have that sort of second pause as you're opening the door um, where somebody could shoot you that way supply crates <laughs> they're a great place to get shot so if you see a supply drape in the middle of a field or anywhere and you, you weren't aware of it generally leave it alone give it a very very wide berth because there's somebody, somebody probably with an M24 or an AWM scoped in on that supply drop waiting for you to come up look inside it and they'll headshot you now if you've seen it come down all the way and you know it's fresh and you haven't heard any vehicles approaching and you're in an area where really they would have had to use vehicles to get close to you then by all means go for the supply drop but otherwise leave them alone they're death traps they attract lots of other players and they attract campers as well when you're in cars do the same thing jiggle left to right in fact you're probably safer in a car as a driver jiggling it than you are as a passenger because as a passenger you haven't really got any control all you can do is really switch seats which you know might be a fair enough tactic um, 
but you want to be jiggly in that car and especially if you're going through the blue and people need to med up you know don't just stop on the edge of the blue to, to med up go get the vehicle into cover jump out of the vehicle get behind cover and then med up that way probably the biggest advice I can give you for um, not getting shot is concentration and focus on the game PUBG you don't get any second chances you know so you need to be fully focused so it's if you can avoid listening to music or doing other things while you're playing PUBG you'll have more chance of surviving because you know then you can have your headphones on you can turn the volume up loud so you can hear things like footsteps um, vehicles approaching you'd be amazed even when you're in a vehicle and you're going around a compound if somebody's moving around inside as long as you haven't got the vehicle at full throttle you might be able to hear a footstep so you listen out for the players and if you hear something don't assume it's nothing you know in PUBG you can hear weapons being loaded you can hear energy drinks being taken first aid kits being used everything you can hear everything as long as you're close enough depending on what it is so if you hear something be very 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 suspicious and don't just assume oh it's just the wind or something like that there's probably a player sitting in a bathroom waiting for you op waiting for you to open the door so be very careful you know run up to it open the door without going through and see if they fire lob a grenade in if you're not quite sure so there we go hopefully that will help you and stop you getting shot um, in PUBG, jiggle like mad, make it look like you've got ants in your pants, and really focus on the game. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you've got any other questions or comments, please put them in the box down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.